This episode is sponsored by Helen Krakowski. Hello and welcome back to Film Pro Productivity and Success, the podcast that helps film professionals and other creatives to live a more focused, effective and happy life. My name is Carter Ferguson, I'll be your host today, and always, <laughs> and this is episode 86, Clout Chasers. It is a characteristic of wisdom not to do desperate things, Henry David Thoreau. Unquote. In last week's show, I presented you with an anti-procrastination method called the Pomodoro Technique. It's a popular system that really works, and in effect, it is also entirely free. So if you are struggling with procrastination and are desperately clutching for a new way to get past it, then I suggest that you go back and listen to that show and start using the method outlined there. It could instantly change your life and work for the better. Now, we're about halfway through this mini season and today I want to highlight something which is a little bit different uh, but that I can see creeping more and more onto social media and it's a dangerous habit to get into if you do it yourself. If you rely on social media in any business sense or if you use it off and on to do any form of promotion then getting into this way of thinking will only mark you as an amateur, as desperate and much of the time simply as an asshole. <laughs> It's also very bad for your mental health. You might not be familiar with the term, but I think you'll recognise the sort of person that today's topic defines pretty quickly. (laughs) Clout chasing is an expression that came out of the American rap industry, and in simple terms, a clout chaser is someone who does and says things simply for the purpose of becoming more popular. In my day, these people would be referred to as attention seekers, but clout chasers take it to the extreme. It is an identifier primarily used in reference to people on social media that are desperate to gain attention, fame and followers. You may also encounter the phrases clout chasing and chasing clout in regard to it. Being called a clout chaser originally had a negative connotation, but these people are so fickle that many unabashed clout chasers will now call themselves out for their own stupidity, carelessness or crimes just for the sake of gaining more attention. And at one end of the clout chasing scale, we have a bunch of internet fame-hungry youths doing dim-witted things like supergluing costume vampire fangs to their teeth just so they can get a few more likes, a few more followers, or the attention of someone more influential. This trend of supergluing vampire fangs to your teeth actually happened, and needless to say, dentists advised against the practice, citing the fact that the glue is poisonous and won't come off. These people don't care though, if they did they wouldn't film themselves doing it and film themselves panicking because they can't get the thing off their teeth again. You need to look this stuff up, it's actually completely true. Um, But they believe they are chasing social influence and power and have in reality lost touch with reality because they have lost themselves in social media. They measure their success by online engagement and doing stupid things to them is just an easy way to get attention, to gain more clout. And if you're having difficulty understanding what I'm saying due to my accent. I'm just thinking maybe I should spell that for you. Clout being Charlie, Lima, Oscar, Uniform, nearly forgot that there, (laughs) and Tango. Clout. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm certainly not saying that success can't be farmed from online engagement. It can, but doing genuinely dim-witted things just to get the dopamine hit from seeing a few likes or retweets on your timeline in order to make you feel better about the state of your life or the state of your business, to me, is just a waste of time and energy. And it can also have some collateral damage along the way. In a similar vein to that last example, it's not all about teeth, this this, uh, trend, by the way, but in a similar vein, you might have seen recently that a bunch of clout-chasing idiots decided to remodel their own teeth with nail files. This TikTok challenge involved various numbskulls attempting to fix their own uneven smiles by using a nail file to sand their teeth down to size. And Dr. Chad Evans, co-founder of Texas-based Smile Magic Family Dental, said this of the practice, you're doing irreparable damage and destruction to your teeth. A clout chaser 
won't care about the backlash necessarily. To them, someone calling them out for their stupidity just brings all the more attention, all the more clout to their actions. And I'll just end this list of crazy examples, which there are thousands of, by the way, with another ludicrous fad worthy of a mention here, and that is the Pee Your Pants Challenge hashtag, which quickly racked up 3.9 million views on TikTok. And yes, it is exactly what you think it is. At the other end of the scale, though, would be the more insane and, believe it or not, popular Pass Out Challenge, where participants are dared to choke themselves until they passed out for several seconds. And a 10-year-old girl in Italy tied a belt round her neck and accidentally asphyxiated herself doing it last January. This is genuinely something that these people are, are doing. And sadly, that is really not the end of the crazy behaviours, as any quick search on Google will throw up plenty of references to clout chasers discharging firearms and shooting themselves or others accidentally while they make videos in the hope of gaining some notoriety. I discovered when I was researching this episode that another girl staged a fake kidnapping of herself for her TikTok following and she ended up getting shot in the head. I believe that uh, someone accidentally left a bullet in the gun, filming these things as they're happening. And many clout chasers will actually go out and film themselves breaking the law as well, just to gain a little bit more online street cred. Needless to say, these Darwin Award-winning fatheads inevitably get what's coming to them, but not until after they've inflicted injury or even committed murder during some of these crime sprees. After rapper Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed by a clout chaser in his neighbourhood, YouTuber Do It Jack said this on today's topic. Clout chasers will bypass all morality, all logic, know what I'm saying? Any type of loyalty just to get some type of attention. And these motherfuckers are dangerous. To them, clout is more important than money itself. It's more important than love. These are the ones that you want to stay far, far away from, you know? I mean, you need to watch out. You need to watch out. You need to watch out, unquote. Now, I'm not highlighting these more outrageous instances because I think this sort of clout chasing is a big problem with professionals working in the creative industries. These examples are merely to highlight the point that some people will do anything for fame or attention, but I do see lesser forms of clout chasing in the posts of some who are desperate for success. I see it, and I think it's incredibly sad and worrying. I'm not upset that you lied to me. I'm upset that from now on, I can't believe you. Frederick Nietzsche, unquote. I've seen people I know fabricate straight up lies about their business or about their success to try and gain influence, popularity or likes on social media. They're posting about projects that don't exist and relationships with influential people that they've never spoken to. For all the wrong reasons, these attention seekers gain the attention of those of us in the industry that are genuine and we know what is going on and what is frankly ridiculous. I've seen people photoshop themselves into an image and talk about travelling to work in other countries using a fake My Geolocation app while they lie low and hide out in the UK. And they do all this to trick followers, potential backers and possible, potential maybe, employers into believing that they are working on important projects and that they are they have a certain status the trouble is with this sort of behavior i find though is that they muddy the pool and when eventually people discover what they are up to their lies really start to backfire on them for a short time they might gain attention financial gain and influence but sooner or later they will fall on their own swords all liars lie to protect themselves to shield their egos from the raw pain of truth Amanita Forna, unquote. And I think there's a real truth in that one. I think it's ego that's getting out of control with certain people. And uh, that's what pushes them into this area of what I'm referring to as clout chasing. As I've mentioned before, though, I totally accept this fake it till you make it promotional stance that some people take. But when people start to realise that they've been lied to, that is when that tactic will backfire and you would have to work a hundred times harder in the future before people would start to trust you again. I've also seen clout chasers hijacking social media chat threads, and it's really 
very annoying. I posted a thing a few days ago asking people the name to name actors that was to name actors that deserve more recognition. And one guy hijacked the thread when he tagged in a lot of younger actors who um, he knew would feedback with thank yous and reposts and reposts and stuff like that. And I had to sit through all this nonsense, you know, getting notifications about this when I was really wanting notifications about what I'd actually asked for. But he had all these people going, oh, thanks very much for mentioning me, great. And he, there was all this gr- gratitude going back towards him. Really, I found it bloody annoying. Because <laughs> that was not what was asked. I was, I was looking for people who'd maybe been famous at some point and we're not in the public eye anymore was kind of what I was going for. But this guy tagged in probably 20 people, and suddenly I'm having to deal with all these communications back to this guy, seeing how wonderful he was for mentioning their name in, in a social media post. And uh, it was absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, I had to sit through all that nonsense, and I eventually I muted his account. And people do this sort of thing on social media. When they do it, they will also ask questions that they could easily google just to get replies and interaction to me it's just an elevated form of time wasting and i've already done an episode on that so i'm not going to get any further do check that one out that's a very very popular one in fact any of these episodes that i do that are kind of tell it like it is seem to get a lot more interest than than other ones so that's a good one it's called time wasting i don't know what it is 20 odd maybe 15, I don't know, it's only about there, one of the early seasons, season one or two. Anyway, if you're sliding this way yourself and you recognise some of these things about yourself, then check what you're doing and think about the probable damage that what you're doing is doing in return to your reputation. I can name the clout chasers, the attention seekers I see on social media and on many occasions I've heard others say bad things about them too. Genuine people genuine employers or creative professionals can spot the bullshitters a mile off. If you're doing this in the hope of catching the eye of someone influential and important, I can almost guarantee that as time rolls on, your actions will be having the opposite effect and you will not gain what you seek. You do not want to be thought of in this way. It will do nothing for your life and your career. So for those of you that have not been aware of this strange trend which goes beyond what I'd call regular self-promotion, I urge you to be extremely cautious about what you read on the internet. And I've said that many times before. Don't invest time, money and energy in anyone who talks about how wonderful or connected they are without actually seeing some proof. And clout chasers will go to incredible lengths to make their lies believable, but it's all smoke and mirrors, so don't believe the hype. Avoid those people who only ever talk about doing things but who don't ever seem to complete them and investigate their claims if they are trying to draw you into something, part with cash, or attempt to associate themselves with your good standing and your reputation. I've had that happen a number of times. I've mentioned this before as well. They try to borrow things using my reputation or inferring that I'm somehow involved in their projects when I'm not. These people are devious So don't get involved with them as you could live to regret it if you do. I think it's fair to say that this has been a rather oblique topic for film pro productivity and success, but I wanted to discuss it as I believe that desperation is starting to make people say and do some really bizarre things. Whilst they are chasing fame or profile in this strange oblique way the chances are that they are having little or no impression on the things that really matter so if you're feeling desperate and struggling to make a mark with what you're doing then i'd suggest that you try to harness your desperation in a different way william s burroughs described desperation as the raw material of drastic change benjamin disraeli said that desperation is sometimes as powerful an inspirer as genius I think these statements are true, but let's not let desperation lead us to chasing social media likes just to make us feel better. It won't further your work, and it will, in the end, damage your reputation. Rather than letting desperate feelings lead us down the path of the clout chaser, let's use that energy in a more focused way to make plans, to follow inspired strategies, and to take positive action. Don't get distracted by clout chasers. Just focus down on what you want to get and take action to get it. And I don't think that many listeners are clout chasers. I just had to cover both sides of it. 
I'm really giving you all a warning that these people are out there and you could get scammed by them in effect. But I really don't think that many listeners are actually clout chasers themselves. But if you feel desperate, follow a bit of that advice and you might get somewhere. Today's call to action is to have a good look at those you follow on social media but who you suspect may not be all they seem. Decide whether or not they are worth your time and energy. Some of them might seem legit, by the way. And and you really need to assess, is this person telling the truth or is this person putting information out there or positivity out there because they're actually up to something? These are potentially good actors here that will put up a good front. Uh, Not that they're all actors, incidentally. (laughs) Uh, But decide whether or not they're, they're worth your time and energy. And if they're toxic, if they're a clout chaser, you might want to think about distancing yourself from them. On next week's show... I'm going to turn the spotlight on a subject that is particularly nasty, but which is very prevalent at the moment. I'm going to be talking about victim mentality. I'll end now, though, with a quote which I find particularly relevant to today's topic. It's by Woody Allen, who said, Who's the bigger idiot? The idiot or the idiot who gets fooled by the idiot? Now take control of your own destiny, keep on shooting, and join me next time on Film Pro Productivity and Success. The music that you can hear right now is Adventures by Ehumitsu. You can view the show notes for this episode on the official website, filmproproductivity.com. And you can follow my personal account on Twitter and Instagram, it's at fight underscore director, or follow the show itself on Twitter at filmproprodpod, or on Facebook at Film Pro Productivity. Please support the show, folks, by subscribing, spreading the word. Please do spread the word. Tell people about the show. And if you've got a minute, leaving an awesome review. <laughs> <laughs>